Hi guys, welcome back. So now we're going to look down here at the bottom half of this instrument, which is a little bit more interesting. And let's start by looking at these performance pads down here, which are completely assignable to what you want. So let me just demonstrate something. So go to Synth Pad, and I'm going to choose Smooth Pad. And you'll see that within this preset, there are four already assigned chords. And I'll just play them for you. It's quite housey that, I quite like it. But it's quite difficult playing it with the mouse. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to trigger these with a single note. And this is similar to chord pads, by the way. If you're familiar with chord pads in Cubase, you will know all about this. So I'm going to right click one of these pads and assign trigger note. Now you can do this manually, so you can choose whatever octave you want and whatever key you want. So now you see it's highlighted in blue. And now that one single note is triggering that entire chord. And of course, I can play this on my keyboard as well. So let's um, just assign the other ones. And this time I'll show you a different way. So right click. This time we're going to do learn trigger notes. And you'll see that it's flashing. And I'm just going to press a note on my keyboard. And now I've got two. Two chords assigned to two single notes. Quickly do the other ones. So now I've just got all these chords on four notes. So now I can play these easily. Okay, so that's trigger notes and chord pads. Right click again, we can also forget the trigger notes. So if you want to clear it, or you can clear the chord. And if you want to program in your own chord, just hit snapshot chord and just hold down the notes of the chord that you want. Something like that. And then click it again. And you see we've got a different chord on this one here. But unfortunately, uh, it's not clever enough to work out what chord it is and rename it for you. So you have to kind of do that yourself. So you would just come in here and put in C or whatever, you know, it's up to you. So just put that back to how it was, double click smooth pad. Okay, so that's how you assign trigger notes. That's how you assign chords, how to learn the trigger notes, how to program in your own chord, how to clear the chord, how to rename it, and that kind of thing. So that's really, really useful. You can also use these pads for arpeggiators. So what we're gonna do now is go to synth comp section. And at the top there are some arps, well arps and chords. We'll just use arps and motion one. And now you'll see that we've got chords and arps. These arps relate to trip. So if we go to edit and go to the trip instrument, Obviously, you'll only see this if you've got artist and pro version. But if you check out the art page on Trip, you'll see that you've got four variations. So four different arps that you can program in and you can switch between them. And that's what these buttons do here. So one, just keep your eyes up here, relates to one, two, three, four. And they're all slightly different arps. You can see the gate scale moving there and the number of octaves. So let's put the number of octaves up to two and number three. The third variation, we'll put the octaves up to three. And number four, we'll put the octave, let's just say down to with a different gate scale. You can, of course, change the swing and everything, whatever. So every time now I press these, we get different variations in arps. So just make sure that if you're getting a single note like me, we want to put your flex phrases back on. We took that off earlier. Okay, so that's obviously variation number four. So what we can do is assign all these chord pads and arps to different keys. So let's just do that now. You know how to do this. Assign trigger note. Let's do learn, it's easier. So Put all my triggers on the just simple notes, all sequentially. And let's also assign these arps to 
and maybe a bit further up. In fact, let's just put these on the black keys. And you can see that I'm changing the ARP type when I'm touching these black keys. And you can see it moving up here, and you can see me touching the keys down here. So this is basically controlling the chords and the ARPs with single keys. So some really cool stuff there and just to let you know you can disable the pads I think I mentioned it before but this button here and you can also scroll the keyboard with these arrows here if you need to okay guys hope that was uh, useful for you hope you uh, didn't realize all that was available and I'll see you in the next one bye bye